Guys, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, especially if you love MMA as much as I do. I've been saying for a while that uh, if anybody beats Israel right away, it would be Hamzat Chemaev. Well, guess what? Hamzat has passed all the tests as far as being an elite, legitimate MMA fighter. What he has not done is passed the test of beating somebody like Burns or another elite competitor in dominant fashion. He had a slugfest with a guy a lot smaller than him. And the guy smaller than him dropped him in that fight, hurt him badly in that fight, made him tired. Okay? Here's the problem when you're fighting a guy your size, if not bigger. Paulo Costa is a big, big boy. He's got a lot of power in both hands. He hits hard. He's very tough. He went toe to toe and dominated Joel. Not dominated, but he went toe to toe and got the better of Joel Romero, who I think is the next Bellator light heavyweight champion, by the way. Shout out to him. Um, he did that. Um, here's the thing. I do think Hamza's the more complete mixed martial artist because of his grappling and the way he's beating people. The problem is I don't think he's going to ragdoll a guy big and strong like Paulo Costa. He's going to have to knock out Paulo on his feet. He's going to have to take him down and ragdoll him and submit him in the first round. If he does get a submission, I don't think that's happening. Here's the thing. I do think Hamza's a better fighter in terms of skill set. What I don't, what I'm not convinced with is unless he gets an immediate shot at Adesanya, a guy who's mostly a striker, I don't think he's going to win the title right away if he has to fight somebody else. I do think Paulo Costa is his roadblock. Again, I don't think Paulo is better skill-wise. I think if they fight twice, I do think Hamza should win both fights, but Paulo's good enough to win one of these fights. And I think Hamzat will get tired. He'll tire himself out in the first, maybe early, mid-second round from trying to bang with Paulo. Paulo's got more experience than Hamzat against elite competition. Uh, here's the thing. Paulo's proven even in his loss with Victoria, he can go five rounds if he shows up with a good training camp and fights like he needs to fight. And Hamzat's not going to go five rounds. I still think that he did not go back to the drawing board like he needed to when he, after he fought Gilbert and said, you know what, my... Cardio was not very good. I did not fight smart in that fight. I didn't fight technical. I went in there and brawled and I almost lost. I don't think Hamzat's going to correct that right now because he hasn't lost yet. So now he's a big star. He thinks, well, what I'm doing is working. I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I should be able to beat Paul Costa because he's mostly a striker. He's not a good grappler. He should, we've seen that with Vittori. Guess what? Vittori has good cardio. He doesn't get tired. He's just not much of a, a striker like Adesanya. Not to say he can't strike now. That's not what I'm saying. But... As far as elite kickboxing Muay Thai skills, no. Because Marvin can bang with you. Um, so for that reason, the fact that I think Hamza is still a little inexperienced, a little new, green in MMA against elite level competition. I think Paulo and Hamza have a wild exchange at one point. It could be early, mid, first round, mid, late second round. I think Paulo Costa gets a knockout. I think he'll catch Hamza when he's trying to brawl. And I think that'll be his undoing because a difference between a guy like Gilbert and Paulo is Gilbert's a real small guy to be fighting a guy like Hamza. And he dropped Hamza. Imagine what will happen if Paulo gets his hands on, hits him a time or two in the right spot. Lights out. So I got Paulo by knockout. Early second round.